Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Muir, a practicing sports specialist chiropractor, and I'm here today to speak about my personal views on and experience with the Barefoot Science Arch Activation Foot Strengthening System versus traditional orthotics, cushioning, and supportive insoles. With orthotics, a dysfunctional foot is put in a cast and an orthotic or brace based on that dysfunctional foot is then used to support it. Intuitively, this makes no sense. There are over a hundred muscles, tendons, ligaments in that foot that need to be exercised in order to be healthy enough to support the body's demands. In fact, modern medicine would never consider long-term bracing or cushioning to treat any area of the body, including the foot. After the foot has been cast or braced, and then you remove it from that brace, the foot will still be in the same dysfunctional state, or possibly even worse. Secondly, the progressive nature of the barefoot science inserts allows the body to adapt to its new posture gradually, reducing the likelihood of incidental or transitional pain in other areas of the kinetic chain, including the knees, the hips, or lower back. The progressive inserts also allows the patient to stop at the most beneficial and comfortable level for their individual needs, something that orthotics and bracing doesn't do. Finally, the barefoot science stimulates the foot to do what it was designed to do, dampen the impact forces and adapt to the complex demands to propel us forward. The non-rigid nature of the barefoot science insole allows the foot to accomplish these demands comfortably whereas a rigid orthotic is by nature more restrictive. When a rigid brace is introduced to support any element in the kinetic chain, the stress will inevitably be transferred from one link in the chain to another, merely compounding that problem. The progressive nature of the barefoot science allows you to identify those issues early and prevent them from compounding the problem by stopping at the appropriate level. Over the last six years, I have used the barefoot science system to rehabilitate and restore the natural strength and balance of the kinetic chain in hundreds of my patients. One of the most remarkable recoveries uh, using the barefoot science system was actually myself. Uh, years ago I was playing ball hockey and one of the other participants inadvertently put their stick down on top of my toe and I rolled over my toe um, to the point where I thought I had fractured it. X-rays showed that I hadn't actually fractured it, but instead what had happened was there was some underlying degenerative changes in the joint and for whatever reason the pain started after that. Using the barefoot science system, I was able to restore some of the function into the bottom of my foot, which allowed me not to stay on the outside edge of my foot anymore and actually push off my big toe, which I was also getting some lateral hip pain as a result of me avoiding the pain in my big toe. After introducing the barefoot science and stimulating that area of my foot, I was able to push off properly, alleviating the lateral hip pain and restoring myself back to normal gait function. Surprisingly, it also reduced the amount of pain in my big toe to the point where I can actually walk without shoes on, be out of the barefoot science for a small amount of time without the toe pain returning. To me, that was a remarkable recovery. And from then on, I started to introduce the barefoot science to my patients. And having similar results with them, I almost exclusively use the barefoot science now with all of my patients.